It's hard to think of food that's faster to cook than pasta, and my lemon linguine is incredibly fast. There are only a handful of ingredients for the sauce. And what's more, you don't even have to cook them. Now, a big pan of water, an incredibly big pan of water. I'm going to salt it now. I don't salt it before because the water actually comes to the boil faster if it hasn't got salt in it. This is quite a lot of salt, I know, but Italians say that the uh, water you cook pasta in should be as salty as the Mediterranean, which is such a wonderful poetic idea and sort of life, food, culture, everything, all in one. Now I'm going to add the linguine. I love linguine. I mean, you can use any long pasta, it really wouldn't matter. But the point about this is that it's, it's thicker than spaghetti, but not as wide as tagliatelle. Denser, much meatier, which is perfect for a really light, creamy sauce. You don't feel it's being swamped, you just feel it's just what you want. Well, the water's come straight back to the boil, so the sauce. Hmm. Eggs, butter, cheese, cream, lemons. Perfect. Very simple, no cooking. Now, I don't want the whites of these, but I find it much easier just to separate the eggs, cradling them from one hand to the other, rather than in the shell, which most people do, because then I just pierce it, the yolk. Um, if you're squeamish, I wouldn't advise it, but if you're not, I'm not, then it's fine. Hmm. Other wonderful feeling as it goes through your fingers. The reason I'm beating it like this is because I really want it to get a bit sort of frothier and richer and all to bring out this, to emulsify almost, I suppose, like I was making mayonnaise. But it's nothing as complicated as that. And to aid this, some cheese. I don't think, you don't need to measure this, just grate in as much as you want. Cream. Now, I'm not adding too much. Just enough to make the sauce kind of swathe the pasta rather than drown it. It's rich but it's delicate, which is the best combination. Now my favourite bit, the lemon. I love the way when you zest lemons, you can smell it as you do it. I use a lot of the zest because I think that's the best part of the flavour, better even than the juice. Now again, Really add as much or as little lemon juice as you like. I think just half a lemon is fine. I sometimes do put a whole lemon in, but, you know, these are quite large lemons. And anyway, taste it, you know, and if you want more lemon, add more lemon. And if you've over-lemoned, just add a bit more cheese and a bit more cream. Mmm, so fragrant, so comforting. I haven't added any salt because I think the parmesan is quite salty enough. And no pepper for a very good reason. This is harmonious calm, voluptuous and creamy. I think pepper would interrupt that. Suddenly you get this speck of sharp pepper. That's not what I want. So I've drained it. Now I'm putting butter on because the butter shouldn't stop the sauce from clinging to it. In fact, it should almost seem to meld more with the sauce in a minute. But the really important thing is that you don't do this on the heat, because what you don't want is kind of lemony scrambled eggs. You want a really gooey, unctuous sauce. Mm. Mm. I'm leaving some sauce back, because I want to pour some on once it's in the bowl. Well. I mean, that's it. And how fast is that? I mean, it's the sort of food you can really, really make when you're so stressed out that the idea of cooking makes you want to shriek. And it smells so wonderful. It smells like the lemon groves of a Amalfi or something. But with the cream in it there, it's just that mellowness, which means you just feel like you're eating liquid velvet. And the last bit, which is I just want to put a teeny bit more lemony emulsion, just pour it on, just to coat it, so it just it looks as wonderful as it will taste. Just going to do a final smattering of cheese, just a slight hint, just to pick up the depth in the sauce. And just because I find the freshness just so spring-like with the lemons, some parsley. I mean, this is just the quick way, and I quite like having the parsley rather big, like it's another ingredient, not just a decoration. Not just because I'm lazy.